What's up? It's Angela Yee, and it's about that time. It's time for another edition of Lip Service. Now, this week, along with me and my co-host, Gigi McGuire and Stephanie Santiago, we have Poe Johnson. Now, of course, you know her from Lala's reality show on VH1, but she also has her own career as a recording artist, and she's a pretty fun person. This week, we find out that she was delivered. As a matter of fact, she used to date women, and now she's back on the team, and she has a boyfriend. So she's going to talk about all of that and the big news, of course, about Caitlyn Jenner. We get into everything. The ladies are just uninhibited on this one. And I guess I learned a lot this time because there's certain things I didn't know you couldn't do and certain things I didn't know you could do. And I also find out what is everybody's strangest thing that they've done in the bedroom. Okay, some of it's a little weird, but, you know, I'm sure you can relate. Let's get into it. Lip service. What's up? It's Angela Yee. It's lip service. I'm Stephanie Santiago. <laughs> and I'm Gigi McGuire. Is no. this where I say my name? No, because no. you're a friend oh. to the room. We're going to introduce okay. you. Okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry. And this is our girl, Poe Johnson. I am Poe Johnson. Yay! Did I Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Poe is my girl. She a little bit of a thought, but it's cool, you know. <gasps> Why would you call me a thought? No, no. Okay, she's a flirt. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. How that's many people true. in this room has Poe flirted with? Uh-oh. <laughs> She well, I just met, with me. I just met her. So. <laughs> yeah. Does she flirt with you? Steph? No, no, a she hasn't. I, w- I would like a to little? say that I flirted with these two long ago. <laughs> long ago. <laughs> Before anybody was in any committed relationships okay. or anything. All right. And Angela, you know. Curve. Right she up. wants it. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt a way because, listen, we were at a party. You know, Poe was flirting with me. I felt special. But then another girl was like... <sighs> Yeah, she just was trying to kick it, blah, blah, blah. You lying. Nobody said that to you. Oh, she lying. No. <laughs> Yo, but why Angela do the mad stalker move, though? She was on my page. You saw a picture of me with another girl. Screenshot and sent it to me. It was like, really? Yeah. <laughs> I was flattered, though. I was like, oh, she likes me. No. Wait, you guys were girlfriend and girlfriend then. No, listen. In her mind. I don't go for that, okay? I'm very possessive. <laughs> me too. I'm extremely I can't possessive. deal with you then. Right. Now, what happened with you, Gigi? What did Poe do to you? Gigi uh, was drunk. Yeah. She didn't care what I did to nope. her. Nope. It could have went down with Gigi. Oh, man. No, nah, but I think at the time when I met you, Gigi, was it you? Was, mm-hmm. was you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it wasn't going to work out. What was what Unless was, she wanted to get involved, then I don't think Yeah, it was going to go to work. Okay, so yeah. you're not going to be involved with a threesome with a man? I'm not going to be involved in any kind of threesome. Really? I don't like threesomes. You know what? I had the opportunity to um, participate in one. And I just, I'm not like, everybody thinks I'm crazy. And, and I am. Mm-hmm. But they're like, I would not do a threesome. Why? Because I'm a selfish lover. And I, I I want all the attention. I want to give you all the attention. I, there was this one time where um, I was in a room and I thought I was walking into a studio session. <laughs> This shit happened in L.A. Anything happens in L.A. Mm-hmm. I thought I was walking into a studio session, but it it was like everybody had like was having sex. But every wow. it was like it was like um eyes wide shut. <laughs> it was like four girls and one guy. So he was having the time of his. He life. was fucking everybody. Mm. And I sat there with my homeboy. I'm not going to say his name. Um, I sat there. We leaned against the wall and watched this shit for like 10 minutes. And I said, yo, this shit is kind of nasty. He was fucking everybody. That doesn't. First of all, how yeah, can he, he do that? Everybody, because that seems like condom, a lot of effort. With the same condom or with no, no condom? <laughs> no, he. Uh, it was the same condom. He was protected clearly. No um, one else was protected. No, but everybody was like doing drugs and shit. So oh, you know. okay. So yeah, that I didn't do the situations. right drug to participate. And I'm glad I didn't. I went home at the time. I was like dating this girl. I went home and I hugged her so tight, and I was like, "Oh my god, I, you don't have to do you this." Were <laughs> I think you traumatized by what you saw. Oh yeah, man, it was a little crazy, but like, um, yeah. But I, I've never but wanted to do fairness, a threesome. Gigi, you've had foursomes and fivesomes. I have. Damn, Gigi. See me? Did you really? Yeah. Okay, but how does that work out, safe sex wise? Hmm. Yeah, you can only be but too careful. <laughs> so the guy has to swap out the condom. Like for each time? Yeah. That seems very time consuming and mood well, killing. I mean, but there's other things going on at the time to take away from him changing the condom. Maybe I should have been at your joint. And okay, so y'all, <laughs> so basically while he's doing that, y'all could do whatever with each other. Yeah. But how then, long does it take to change a condom? 20 seconds? But so for women, when y'all have sex with each other, do you? how do you protect yourself? How do you protect your mouth? Oh, is this directed towards Gigi? It's directed Both towards you. Both of you. Oh, Gigi, you want to answer? 
No, because I've never had protective sex with a female, so I don't know how to answer. I mean, I know there's like dental dam and people use saran wrap and shit, but, but I've never done saran wrap. It's not the same. Yeah, saran wrap. I've never done it. Though. Um, Stephanie, are you speaking from same. experience? Do you have you had? No, I don't. I've yeah. I've never gone down on a girl ever in my Has life. Has a girl ever gone down on you? Yeah, as a for sure, and we definitely weren't safe. <laughs> well, I don't even think I need to speak on this. I think it's okay. I think you guys got it. No, but I'm saying if you're like asking, if you're having like a foursome and a fivesome, right, and the girls are having sex with each other while the guys changing, y'all can't really protect yourself. I just want to point out that we haven't even been talking about for five minutes and we're talking about this already. <laughs> Shit. Lip service. That's what, I was about to say that's what happened. Oh, you you in this room. God damn. <laughs> now, let's Did I bring it up? <laughs> yes. You started telling your story about the LA Oh, studio. shit. But I don't even. All right, whatever. It's no, we some sort of vodka involved in this interview. And you say you're, you're a selfish lover. No, and yeah. I, I, I agree. I'm not into it. I'm not into because it. Because I need, I need all, you know, the focus to be on me one-on-one. I'm on you. You're on me. And like, we're together. Two people. What about two people focused on you, though? See how she do? She's a professional at this shit. <laughs> she two really people focused on me. I've had could be that. the center Wait, of that. Ange, Angela, hmm? Angela Yee, at Angela Yee. Um, have a girl ever gone down on you? No, I've never, ever engaged in anything. Because you don't want to? or No, I, I've never really been in that position. You've been curious. I'm sure I could have if I yes, ever yes, wanted yes. to, but I've never really wanted to. I really like penises. penises. Me too. I really like penises too. No, I do. Nice. Like nice. real ones that like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that throb. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. Did you, did you just drool over this? <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. I literally heard oh, you drool. Uh, yeah, like big like, throbbing I heard veins. her suck the spit in her yeah, mouth. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This place is crazy. I need to go to church. <laughs> but it's true. I've never had the urge like to do anything with a female because then, then what? Who's going to stick that penis in? Oh, they have penises too. Yeah, but I want a real one. I That's can't why lie. My threesome, best duh. experience with a woman. Oh, best of both worlds. Involved a, Wait, you a said dildo. you you had a best. Ex- oh, your best experience with yeah, a woman. Yeah, it involved a, a a dildo. But with a girl or with a guy though? It was a woman. Mm-hmm. Okay, she Me just strapped girl, her up real quick. She, no, she didn't have a strap. You on need to come on. host she, one of my parties. She had Wait, a, what's a regular your rate? like you know <laughs> zing dong, and she like fucked the shit out of me with it. Wow, did you Sorry, come, guys? Yeah, I did. It was amazing. Did How she fuck mi- you though? Though she fucked you like missionary or like what like, she do? No, like I was on my back and she was just like with her hand and she had it. Sh- she she just- had it in her hand. Yeah, she had it in her hand. Oh, she was cheating. She How would you, you have like- done it, Poe? Oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, it just it just depends on what situation we end up in. Mm-hmm. You know, I've sh- well, how is that cheating? What do you mean cheating? You said that's oh, cheating. because like you know, it's not like. I mean, I guess if you're pleasured, then it's not cheating. But like you're going like this, you know, like that's not, not fair because like because the guys don't get a fair chance. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because the do- the guys have to use their core strength mm-hmm. and she probably do like dumbbells. Like she probably lift weights <laughs> and shit like I box. So I could go all day with my arm. But with my core area, I can give you like a good I'll be honest about my shit. I can give you a good. 37 minutes and 23 37 seconds. <laughs> that's minutes. that's a good time. But that's I can give you that and you want to know. No, I'm going to tell you because I do I do rounds and I can plank for a long time. Okay. So I know like I could give you like 37 minutes and 23 seconds from my pelvic area without a break. So you be planking in a pussy. <laughs> well, I haven't planked in a pussy in a long time, but I'm just saying that that's what I could give you. Okay. But it, do you get pleasure from, from giving a girl sex with a strap on? Well, yeah, it's, it, I think it's a you lot like of it? a lot of girl on girl sex is like very mental. Like mm-hmm. you, if you you get into it, dep- depending on if you're like the giver or the receiver, it's very mental. You get turned on and you come. But mm-hmm. um, I was uh, let me think of my my matriculation as a lesbian. I, my matriculation. <laughs> I was, you know what? I was mostly the receiver, so. I mean, I gave a couple, you would, you would be, I could blow your mind. And if I could show you the girls and I'd be like, she's a pillow queen, she's a pillow queen, she's a pillow queen. But, um, yeah, I was a receiver. So I gave a few times. And when I did give, I, I, I'll be honest, I did not come, but mm-hmm. cause I think I, you know, I like, like can't y'all like switch back and forth? Like, okay, I give and then you give. Is this why you, Ask me to the show to tell you all this stuff. Yeah, I want to <laughs> learn some things. Oh shit! 
Wait, what's your question? Don't you guys switch? Like, can't you give and then she gives? It doesn't I would yeah, think but that that's would be the no benefit fun. of it. That's no yeah. fun. If somebody's eating your monkey real good, you don't want to just be like, okay, stop, my turn. No, are you calm? No. And then you say, now now I'm going to do you. Well, a lot of girls, it, it, it's kind of like, um, uh, what do we call it? Like, you kind of just kind of like uh, a lot. Of, okay, for example, some women, they come via clitoral stimulation. Some mm-hmm. girl, Some women... They come mostly be- from penetration. So if you're a girl that likes to come from your clit, then you kind of just like ride it, like hump each other until mm-hmm. somebody comes or you both come, which has happened. And then some girls like to be penetrated. If you're one of those girls that like to be penetrated, I'm not going to spend all day trying to ride you. I'm just going to strap you up and make you come. This is too much work. This is interesting. Like too much work. Too yeah. much talking before you I, I never imagined. You don't talk about it. You just kind of go for it. And just see what she likes. Okay. What about anal? Does that mean you do anal? I've never fucked a girl in her ass, no. Wow. And I, I, yeah, no, I've never done that. You never received that? Are you open to it? I am open to it, but I tried it, um, I tried it once and, or twice. It hurt? Yeah, like, I can't get past the pain. I'm not an anal person either, so don't worry about it. And I wanted to relax because I heard, like, the triggers in your ass, it it feels really good, but Mm -hmm. I... And I'm not above it. I just can't get past the pain. I feel you because I've always wanted to like anal. And <laughs> Me I, too. I swear I, I wish I did. Like it. I want to like you don't anal like it no more? so bad. Well, I liked it when I had a boyfriend with a really small penis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's why I've always said if you want to do anal, you have to have a starter penis. Like yeah. it has to be. That's when I loved it. Somebody small. I have had like um <laughs> the like little, you know, like the little uh, bullet kind of vibrator thing. Mm-hmm. I've I've stuck those in a girl's ass while she I like liked it. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah it was yeah, waterworks. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. Waterworks. Yeah. So you don't yeah, none of us really No, I don't I wanna do anal so bad. So bad. I feel like you could. <laughs> I can't. I can't take it. You no, it's it you know, it I need penis. a starter of penis. My boyfriend's I don't, listen, man, I don't I'm good. I mean like I want to you know You like a finger though. That's well, I stick my own finger up my ass, so my man was talking about anal today, and I'm just like, what was he saying? He, I was go. like, okay, this is this is funny. This is funny. He, um, <laughs> all right, I, I like, I'm always fucking with him, and I like try to like lick his nipple or bite it, and he doesn't okay, like guys that like at their all. Nipples lick so I think some guys love that. Some, some guys, guys love like it, and, guys guys and other guys to, hate it. Yeah. Some guys want it's, you to like play with their nipples right. and suck them at the same time. You just can't overdo it because then they feel feminine. But I think everybody has to say some like, guys will put your hands there. Right. And, and some and guys, while you're sucking heavy, their yeah. dick, they want you to play with their nipples. Mm-hmm. But my wait, man wait, is like, don't touch my nipple. Don't even play time. that. Wait, wait. Can I let me? Can I just interject really quickly? <laughs> oh, okay. Gigi just showed me. Right. Um, so yeah, you gotta do it at the same time. Yeah, yeah you gotta do like that. <laughs> it's like praise. Well, how tall is your guy? <laughs> my my man isn't very tall. He's okay, like see, that's why it works. 10, five, well, no, my man won't. Let me. Your man is tall. My man so, will not let listen. Me. When I speak about my sexual experiences on this show, Uh-oh. I'm not always talking disclaimer. about disclaimer. Disclaimer. She gotta do a disclaimer. Yeah. <laughs> my, so, so again, like we were. So I was like, I'm like, babe, just be open minded. Just let me. Like I'm fucking with him. I'm like, just let me play with him. You can't tell a guy to be open minded because that kind of means, and then, you know, open he's, ass. Like, he's yeah. like, oh, he's like, oh, so you want to be open minded? Let me fuck you in your ass. Mm-hmm. And I'm I don't like, think that's no. too crazy, though. I, I don't think that's too crazy. <laughs> but you said you want to like it. I want to like it, but I know my man's into dick it. is too big. Okay, so I've spoken to some porn stars about this and I've done some research. And what they've told me is that basically they have a butt plug, right? Mm-hmm. So you put the butt plug in your ass like an hour before you have sex and it loosens it up and then it makes it easier. That's what porn is stars do. Is that what the point of a butt plug is? That's what a butt plug is. To loosen up the booty for I the I thought dick. it was just like to make you look like you have a horsey tail. Some of those things <laughs> no, get, some of those things get really in. hot though. Those little <laughs> toys, they get really hot and they kind of burn you. What? Like the what? batteries, like the vibrate. Oh, no, no, it doesn't and... vibrate. It's just a plug. So you just put it in your ass and it just kind of stretches it out, stretches it out a little. And have then... you tried it? I have one and I've never tried it, but I know about it because a porn star told me. So, so I actually one. got one. Yeah. All you need to do is speak to you a gay to guy. It. They'll tell you how to take it. That's true. My friends say, to, say well, I don't my, my friends really like most of my friends really like getting fucked in their ass. And mm-hmm. what they say is the secret to enjoying anal sex is to when it's going in to push out. 
push what out? Like if you shit, like, like if work. you're like farting. if you're gonna yeah, take like if you're farting or, or taking oh, a man, shit I can't, to push I can't. out. While you're taking that it seems in. like it make it worse. Like I, I'd excited. rather just blow past this. I just, I, I'm like I can't even imagine myself doing that. I can't. I can't. I never tried that way. I'd be more. No, that's what my friends say. That the I've only heard that way you to have do to it relax. is to push out. Yeah, that's what I knew. I've heard you really I just have that to too. Because relax. the only times that I've and enjoyed anal is relaxed. It's really relaxed. Like, like so you have now. enjoyed it. No, I have enjoyed anal, but somebody's waving. It's not. It's not always. It's usually never. I mean, I've, I've probably had anal, I probably had anal sex 10 times in my life and four out of 10 times I enjoyed it. I've had anal zero times. But you're down to try it. I tried it. Okay, I've tried it. But you like fingers. You put your own finger in your ass. I like, I, I, I like fingers too. a little weird too. because I don't know if I would put my own finger in like my ass. Like if I'm, like I'll, I'll put my finger in my ass if I'm like fucking, like currently like I'm, I'm with a guy. So like. If I'm riding him, I'll stick my finger in my ass. So wait, you can just switch back and forth from guy to girl. Oh, you're bisexual. I didn't think I was bisexual until just recently. Oh, she I met a guy. That's it. You're not. Back it up. I have a really you're close a friend that, that happened to her. You said what? You're you're hetero. You're straight. If uh, a man could turn you out, you're like yes. That's it. You're but not wait, good. so how did this happen? Who is this guy, <laughs> and how did you decide to go ahead and try that out? Uh, the guy, because he just kind of, like, he was super cool and shit. And then, like, one day he just kind of, I don't know. Ate you just, out? No, You're enjoying no, no. that dick. <laughs> no, it was something he just kind of said. He was just like, give us a try. And I was like, ah, oh, please. I'm not going to be into it. Like, whatever. I date girls. You know, I don't like really like guys. And then I think his personality, he don't get me wrong, he's fine as fuck. And he just kind of was like, yeah, right, whatever. And then he fucking came to my house one day and it was like oh it shit it was on and popping yeah I forgot no, well, it's not like it. I hadn't been with guys before right. like I had dated guys before but I hadn't dated a guy in 13 years mm-hmm. and so I was just like in my mind I think my mind was fixed to say you don't date and I hadn't a guy hasn't come across me that you weren't a chap and no shade to any other guy that stepped to me because a lot of them has but I just wasn't in. I wasn't in. I was either in a relationship or I wasn't into it. Mm-hmm. And this guy, not this guy, he, I don't want to call him this guy, but I don't want to put his shit out there. But, um, he stepped so to me. My like guy. A, my guy in a real G <laughs> way stepped to me and was like, stop fucking around. And I so was like, So this is your man now? Huh? Is he your man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Do you think he thought it was like a challenge at first or how did. No, he had no clue. He had no clue who I was or what I. I mean, he's not from like this country, so he was just oh, wow. like. Oh, foreign. I like yeah, it. he's foreign. So he was just like, he thought I was hot. He saw me in the gym. Now, let me ask you this. What if he told you that he had been with other men before? Would that affect how yeah, you felt Yeah, about yeah, him? yeah. Yeah, it would. It would. That doesn't yeah. seem fair, though. It's not fair at all. Life isn't, though. <laughs> I have a friend that was gay. And then um, discovered penis as an adult and turned into a big hoe and was fucking everything. And I guess she was making it for lost time. But she had sex for the first time when she was like, I don't know, like 22 mm-hmm. and never looked back. Well, she probably still does girls when she wants to. But yeah, she's like all you know the way what? on teen penis now. It's like, a, you know what? It's, you can't really you can't really say what you are. And I think I mean, look at the. Caitlyn Jenner? Right. That's it. Yeah, I was about look to talk about Kay- that. Look at the Caitlyn Jenner. So you can't really say what you are. Like, I dated guys wholeheartedly. Like, every guy that I, I dated, I thought I was in love with. I'm not saying every guy I fucked, but every guy I dated, I thought I was in love with. I I met a girl, and I, I, I was like, fuck. Mm-hmm. I really like this girl romantically. Dated girls for however long. <laughs> then I meet this guy, this really cool guy, sexy as shit fucking good head on his shoulders and I was like well let me fuck you too but wait so then it's not fair to me though that you can say that if he had been with guys and then changed his mind that you have an issue with that's that, that catch 22 I'm about- not saying I have an issue with it I think if guys are like that but if my <clears throat> guy was like that no I don't date girls that fuck guys mm-hmm. and I don't date guys that fuck guys Sheesh. Yeah, I mean, I get that. If I met a guy and he's like, "Listen, Steph, I just want to be honest with you. I've been with a couple guys. I- I've sucked a couple dicks." <laughs> That's not really sexy. <laughs> okay, now let me ask you this. Now let's talk about. Like, well, let's wait. talk about Caitlyn Jenner Hold for a second, on. though. What if he was with a transgender? Right? I don't even. Somebody that I actually had the surgery doesn't have a penis anymore. Okay, if my guy was with a transgender, knowingly, I'm still looking at you with the side eye, boo. 
But if you like listen to stuff, I gotta confess this. Like, it's really killing my head. I was with this guy girl, and she looked like a girl, but she, she had, had a the dick. girl part. You could do it. I fucked her, but then later on, she told me that she changed herself. But what if he knew? I'm like, what right. if he knew from the beginning? I was with a transgender. If he knew from the beginning, I'm sorry, now. I can't. Cause you like them jaws. You, you can't. Like the you man can't. Jaws. Like them you can't. Jaws. I'm not gonna lie. A man jaw is probably incredible though. Mm-hmm. You can't help That's like what you're like jaw. innately mm-hmm. like exactly right. What innately turns you on and off though. You know what I mean? You can't. Yeah, no, that. and I'm not judging. I mean, you know, I couldn't. Um, I think women are really beautiful, and I'm definitely turned on by looking at women, even in porn and things like that. We've spoken about that before, mm-hmm. but. I couldn't imagine dating a woman having to deal with all the girl stuff. Like having to, I couldn't imagine dating myself. Right? God oh my bless God. everyone who's dating. You me. know what? <laughs> I, it's like you know what? Girls are like exactly. Girls are to the tenth power. You, you know, know God I mean? bless girl, and it's and I think that I well, I just it's like hard. women, like, so I had to deal with it. But mm. like women are so Moody. I could be like I could be like, and you you good? Yeah, and I'm it's good. like, yeah, yeah I'm okay. No, I'm good. Not- and you clearly know that you're not okay. <laughs> that's bad. I exactly. definitely do that. Please, I was just in the car giving the silent treatment for like two hours. And he's like, I, tell me what's wrong. What's wrong? And I'm like, I'm fine. Everything's great. Everything's great. <laughs> Talking about <laughs> yes. deep class. Like, I grew up with a lot of brothers and a lot of boy cousins that lived in the same house with me. So it was just like, I kind of adapted that boy attitude, mm-hmm. which is why I feel like, I, I don't know, fuck that, all that. But I just adapted the guy attitude. But then when I date girls and it's just like, it's annoying. You're just like, are you like, what's like the wind could blow this way and you want it to blow that way and the whole world is over. I'm the whole world lie, changes. We are annoying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I couldn't mm-hmm. imagine dating a, a woman that's why like I myself. Feel like I can never be and I think I'm amazing. I have no. sex with a girl whenever. Said, I think I'm whenever. amazing. Like, to really be like dating one, <laughs> yeah. I just can't. I don't think I can do that. I mean, but you, you know, know, women are beautiful creatures. <laughs> amazing. Like, are you guys? Be, like, I'm having the greatest As, day. I'm like, yeah. What? Like, you want me I, to like, do a show with three hot girls? Show? Yeah, exactly. No like, I think all four of us are really gorgeous. I think women are beautiful, amazing. But we are annoying as shit. But I couldn't like marry a woman. Like what? <laughs> but no. But but don't don't. You know what? You can. But women, I, it's possible and it's beautiful when they do. No, mm. but PMS is a motherfucker. <laughs> and times two. That week Ooh. before you get the period. So imagine and you don't have about everything. exactly. Imagine you're with a. You have your wife, wife on wife. And and you both have different schedules. Mm-mm. So imagine you if your period periods time, link up. And you know that you know when you're around somebody. Your period, for oh people God, who, this might for be men, too much. For the guys who <laughs> listen to this, like the week before the period is a real disaster. PMS. Yeah, I couldn't imagine having to deal with another. Like I got to deal with my own. I'm crying. I I'm always laughing. tell guys. I always I'm say mad. I want I'm some candy. Sad. Just tell me. Just tell me I'm right. Sometimes even if I'm wrong. Just let it go. Yeah. Because I'm a female. Just I couldn't right. imagine having to deal with Shout my own Shout out to all PMS. the lesbians that exactly. are married and deal God with each other. God bless you guys. Yeah, because y'all are some I strong bitches. I respect it. I yeah, respect you it. Yeah, you guys are not clawing each other's eyes out. Yeah, some no. Bitches. No, but like the LGBT community, that's my community. That's my mm-hmm. world. What is LGBT? What else now? LGBTQ. What is What's that? What's Q? I think Q is queer. Queer, right? Yeah, yeah, it's LGBTQ now. I mm-hmm. just learned that. And, uh, I didn't know they added the Q on. Yeah, they added the Q on. I don't know what queer quite stands for, but mm-hmm. shout out to them. But it's like, you can't, like, it goes to show you that it's not, sometimes it goes further than what, what each individual thinks, you know? Well, let's so talk about just, Caitlyn Jenner for a second, because I've been getting a lot of mixed reactions. I posted it on my Instagram. You know, she's on the cover of Vanity Fair. And got a huge spread and everything. I think they it's had the I think she the looks scenes video. beautiful. She looks great. She's giving old Hollywood glam. She's giving old supermodel. I'm not to keep saying old, but I mean, he, she is a certain age. But I just it's it's stunning. She's stunning that picture. That no, let me let me read some of these mixed reactions because there's a lot of people who are supportive. Like you know, congratulations to you living your truth mm-hmm. and all of that. But then some people are very critical. Okay, you can pass that. Jason. I, I mean, think, that's gonna um, that's gonna happen. You gotta expect people to have their own opinion and their you, judgment. And you know, I'm disappointed in myself for being so surprised at how beautiful Bruce Jenner looks as a woman. Bruce but Jenner you know, is a Kardashian. Exactly. Hello, exactly. That's why Hello. I'm, saying. I'm like disappointed. On. Hello, like, why wouldn't right. I think that like, that on. he was gonna look like that when he has 
such amazing influences right. around him, mm-hmm. you know? All mm-hmm. the, nobody is ugly in that family. Mm-mm. Nah. Nobody is like... Even- like Kanye said, like, um, Chris Jenner... She really made trophies. Like she made mm-hmm. beautiful daughters. Like really gorgeous daughters. She made gorgeous children. I, yeah. I, I Rob, Rob, you know, Rob. Like, she, should yeah. Rob. she should sell she her shit. She should sell her eggs. She should sell now, her eggs. Now, let me be, now, of course, they be might support her. Somebody She's said, SMH, it's Please. nonsense. That Why promote them with their bullshit all the damn time? Because uh, some people are upset because of the Kardashians <laughs> and the Jenners. They feel like they're just, you know, Give me attention one more promoting Please. everything. Now, somebody said, nah, this publicity has to stop. Shit's more than gay. Pussification of America. I, I don't know. Like Aww, I think I'm so sad. I'm happy at for like I'm that. happy for Bruce as an uh sorry. I'm happy for Caitlin as an individual. Mm. And I am too. everything and then in regards to the family and the kids and the grandkids, my prayers go to them and, and their hopes to deal with it. You know, like not deal with it or deal with her, but like just to stay strong because it's a lot to fucking deal with. Did it's you guys hear the quote? That I don't remember verbatim. I heard it earlier today, and he was just saying like, "I lived a lot of lies, and I'm finally free. I'm finally able to be me." And when the Vanity Fair cover drops, I'm free. Like, like that, how could that, you not be okay with that? Like, no, I'm great with it. Like, that. yeah, I'm I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her. I, I keep saying wanting to say him, but I I really want to her. Even, after those photos, like, I respect. I don't the whole even thing. remember what Bruce looked like. Right, it's all about mm-hmm. Caitlyn. Right but you now. know what? Part of it is that. You know, they did make it such a huge deal. deal. I mean, there's specials on it, mm-hmm. on him, on her mm-hmm. now. Well, on I, the Vanity Fair cover. So making it such a big deal allows hello, people to weigh You in. said it yourself. He's and, your Kardashian. Right. I think I, so that's yeah. part of what yeah. that's part she of it. Is a Kardashian. Like she's, she's a, a Kardashian. I think that I, she is a Kardashian now. She probably should have just changed her last name to Kardashian. It should be Caitlyn Kardashian instead of Caitlyn Jenner. No, no, because <laughs> no, some people no, feel like it was Caddy no. that she didn't use the K for Caitlyn. I mean, that is a, a tidbit of shade. <laughs> I like the spelling though. We like the shade, we but like the shade. I, I think that I think that Caitlyn wanted to be like, no, I'm my own individual. Mm-hmm. I am. Caitlyn Jenner. I yeah, achieved a lot with this last name Jenner. And yeah. I mean, Bruce Jenner is married to Kim Card. Um, to, excuse me, Chris Kardashian. Chris, Chris, Chris Jenner. 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 To Chris right. Jenner. She's Jenner yeah. now. And you know, Kardashian is uh, her ex husband. Mm-hmm. So you know, he. Now, he Stephanie, how would you feel yourself. if your man all of a sudden was like, "Listen, oh my god, no, because he wouldn't be alive, man." I'm sure mm. Chris Jenner is having a difficult time with this. No, that's what that's who I think of, you know, because I couldn't imagine, uh, you know, family. my husband who I have I have amazing children with and, and so we many lived years the whole invested. life and you helped me raise my other children mm-hmm. because you know he was a father to to the Kardashian kids. Mm-hmm. He was but, a great. He is a great. He. I don't know how to say he. My heart goes little, out. Great to, man. No. But, so, but how would you, you feel know, if that I, was your I, I man? And he was like, listen. You I, know, everybody looks at the whole the whole media like media is going crazy. Everybody's going nuts. But I think about Chris Jenner. I would go nuts. I don't know how I would feel about my own sexuality. First of all, Chris Jenner set up the photo shoot. Stop yeah, Chris it. Chris Jenner's Come like, listen, we're going to get this money. Chris Mama. Jenner is she now managing. Me. She's momaging. She's no, wifeaging. Yeah, we're going to get this you money. Chris, Chris Jenner is now wifeaging. No, but I think I of her because, you know, Caitlyn behind, Jenner. behind, behind everything, you know, she 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 has to think of it like like where that like, I Like were you on. never attracted to me? Yeah, like what what's the problem? I think that this was here? something No, that, but I think did you guys watch the special she knew? She, she knew she way crying. back when they first went out he had boobs. But and she, she don't knew. really admit that she knew. Right, but he did in the right. special. He says that, but she acts like she yeah. didn't. She hasn't really said much. My heart goes really out to her, but my heart show. goes out to his sons too because they have to be going through something. Oh, well, they seem like very supportive. No, though, but Brody you know what? And- mm-hmm. Bruce yeah, Jenner as like a that. man is an amazing man. He's very athletic, a, a star. Well, you got to get legend. past the sexuality of it all. Yeah, you got to go to I mean. the soul of to it the all. Core. Exactly. Yeah, to what's inside. He's an amazing father, and he's gonna be an amazing woman. He has I support it. How many kids is it in total? Ten. He has a lot. He's of fathered kids. ten kids. You know, Sheesh. he picked I think up about after. the wife. Me, if my man came home and said that, hey, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I want to be a woman. This is the life that I've been wanting to live my whole life. I don't you, know what I do. She just lost her husband. But the thing yeah, with Chris exactly. Jenner, she knew from the beginning. Well, no, she's saying she didn't know. He she's she not. Did. He's saying that, but I don't you know. know. I'm Puerto sometimes Rican. You, I'll stab somebody. Or because something. listen, sometimes <laughs> like, now imagine you come home right and you find your husband trying on a dress. Does oh, that no. mean that he wants to be a woman, 
Or does that mean like that means he has a fetish? That means my eyebrows are getting raised and I'm going to start paying yeah. attention. And I'm going to ask some questions. But it could, it could just sure. be some kinkiness because in nope. our reality, he no. didn't. Some guys no, are into that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you like, no. Not no, Jews there's some guys, with. you'll be surprised. Some men like to wear thongs, women underwear all the I ne- time. I never they come think it's the sexiest one. thing well, in the world. Now, I'm going to keep it real. Mm-hmm. Now, one of my friends told yeah, me no that wrong. she fucked a guy <laughs> with a strap on, but she doesn't think he's gay because she's like, I'm a woman. I fucked him with a strap on. It's not like he has sex with another man. What? Yes, uh, never mind. What? You just drink this well, what? I'm always going to go back to anatomy. Said, we when we talk about men, straight men, and them wanting... Um, stimulation in their anus or around the anus. Straight men? I'm always going to go to anatomy and the fact that that's where their G spot is. It so, is. It, yeah, so no, that's a straight man can't yeah. get fucked in the ass with a strap on by a woman. I don't know if you need a strap to get to that G spot. You know, you a little that's, that's, that's taking it there. You know, <laughs> you can get there this way. Queens of the you can get there with the tongue. You can get there with the digit. You can get there. You don't need to get there with the strap. But you that's know, taking it to the next level. Everybody's sexual it might be just is different. Listen, if a man wants a strap on, he wants you to strap on and fuck him in the ass. He wants a dick in his ass. Some guys are straight men and they they want fingers. That's very black and white. If a man wants to get fucked in it with a strap on, I'm repeating. He wants exactly. a dick. He wants a dick in his ass. Yep. Mm. He wants a dick. But if I mean fingers, a woman can a woman has ten fingers. We have ten. You can get to that G spot with a finger. With a finger. Fuck what you heard. Two fingers, real Angela, quick. Angela, if you <laughs> never did it before, just know that you, you got to do that. I've done it. You got to. I enjoy it. I enjoy like, putting yeah. fingers. I, I my too. man is, doesn't let me, but I've done it before and I enjoyed it's myself. It. I, 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 it didn't make the sexual experience nasty. No, my guy's not it, for it, it, but he. I mean. He's Some like, it's a turn on to me when a guy is for the nudge. It's a sexy <laughs> When a guy thing. does the nudge, I'm like, yeah, Ooh, I'm not even going to lie. Risky. I love it. I'm so happy when a guy wants fingers. Wait, 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 wait. You know what? <laughs> now that I just think about it, I read like the uh, an article about Caitlyn. He does not like guys. No. She, she, I'm sorry. She does not she like guys. Gay. Yeah, he does. He's not gay. He doesn't want men. No, she's. Well, I that's what she saying. knows yet. Yeah. yeah. No. Or maybe yeah, she's not ready to reveal all that, of that part yet. Mm-hmm. Because well, it's what a, do you a mean she's not ready? She's revealed everything else. Right. I don't know if she knows because she's saying the sexuality is different from gender. Mm-hmm. That's the Her whole point. thing is it's not about my sexuality. It's about how I feel inside gender wise. Does she still have a penis? Yeah. No, but, I think she just underwent everything. Oh, yeah. really? That was, okay, the, whole so that was the whole so reveal. Was coming out. Yeah, like, I'm really a real woman now. Yeah, they're saying that she... Just underwent the whole gender reassignment. Mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah. I'm so, I got to be honest. I, I'm confused. So does it no, make her I wonder. Lesbian? I'm going to search. I'm so she's still like, so, 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 she's well, still attracted to and wants to be with the woman. And now that she's a woman, does that make her a lesbian? I think she's attracted to women. Right. You know? She says mm-hmm. she is. No, I think <laughs> Bruce, I think Bruce Jenner likes women. And I think Bruce Jenner might like men. He might be bisexual. We'll see. I think he likes women. He has so many children. I don't even know. He's, he, ma- he's been married listen, three if, times. If, if you're a man and you can get your dick hard for a woman, you're not. I did not know it was kids gay. before Brody yeah. and the other one. Yeah. I didn't know he, he had another so, son. He has mm-hmm. biological so he has, children. He has three boys. Shit. He has three <laughs> boys. He has three boys and they like, seem like they've been very three him, boys and Courtney, two. Courtney, Chloe, they've and been then very he has Kendall and Kylie is his two. Yeah, his two. And I'm sorry. And then there's Rob. So that's, well, Rob isn't his son. That's but yeah. nine kids. Right? There's ten. There's a daughter. Know. There's an older daughter. No, there's, as well. oh, there's there is another an older daughter. daughter. He has a. There's a Jenner yeah. daughter that's okay, so older than kids. Kelly and Kylie. Yeah. Yeah. This is Kendall the greatest home. Brady bunch in life. They should have it. And no, and he has he has boys from another woman. From mm-hmm. another marriage, Robin. Uh, I mean, not Rob. Um, Brody, Brody and, and the other guy, mm-hmm. the singer songwriter. All right, now I want to ask you guys some questions that we have for Ask Ye. Okay, okay. and yeah. get your expert advice. Okay? okay, here's one question. I need your help. I've been dating this girl, but she's kind of on the larger side. I like her; she's really nice. But I'm embarrassed to go out in public with her and introduce <gasps> her to my family. What How should rude. I do? Did she say he kind of likes her? You know what? Her Leave her alone kinda because you're hurting her. your own feelings and you're hurting yourself. You're hurting her. You're hurting everyone. It's, See, this, the thing is, the reason why he like her is because the sex is good and she probably got her own money and she's probably a good woman and he need to stop being shallow and stop looking at her at her physically. No, if he's not attracted. And he, he didn't say he wasn't wait, attracted to her. He, you he dated likes people her that, a lot. that have been really ugly and so yep. have you. Mm-hmm. That you didn't really want to bring I don't want to bring them outside. <gasps> Really? So the sex happens. is good. The face is ugly. 
I've never dated anybody that I was ashamed of. Really? <laughs> I haven't dated somebody that I was ashamed of. I but have. I've had sex with someone that I was ashamed but you gotta of. Right, out. right. That's different. Yeah. That's like, different. I don't, well, listen, don't be talking about me and you getting down. Don't let nobody don't know. Because that ain't nobody's business. <laughs> It's a secret society. Damn. All we ask is trust. I don't need you telling my business and Damn. I'm not going to tell yours. Wait, you keep the, that between me and read you. Read it again. Read it again. All no, right. but I just think, you know, if you're ashamed of the... Maybe he should get her a gym membership. Maybe they should go hard together. Nope, and that's how she was walking out. in the relationship. That's how it is. Fuck it. If you're embarrassed, Angela Yee, let me just speak from it from his voice, okay? I'm, okay, Angela yo. Yee, yo, I need your help. Yo. I've been dating this girl, but she's kind of on the larger side. Say <laughs> I like her. The sex is good, quote unquote. She's really nice, but I'm kind of embarrassed to go out and pup with her. And I don't I don't want to introduce her to my family. You know what? I mean, that means you fucking like her. Right. Yes. And then you need to be what truthful with I, yourself. You don't want to hear the jokes from your family. Right. Yeah. But he needs to be that's truthful all. with himself. Well, and if that's what he likes, that's up. what he likes. Exactly. If man that's what up. you like, then that's what you like. Everybody likes who they like. You can't. Yes. But to keep it real, sometimes we have a type in our head and we don't end up with that. Mm-hmm. Like you're like, I need a guy that's this, 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 this and that. And then you fall for everything else. You end up with somebody that is not physically what you thought it would be. And you're like, man, this is the person I really like. But but if that was if that's what makes you and, happy, then you go for exa- that. Exactly. But so. when you're happy, when you're fully happy, you don't care what people think. True. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So but if you if you feel embarrassed, you feel then ashamed, he, then move he may on. Be, right. But I think Get that you guys are she speaking, might not be the one. I think that you guys are speaking from a woman's point of view. And if you think about the man's point of view and what how much they care or, about what they boys think and what they yeah, feel. Yeah, men do care more about looks. No, men care. They make care about that shit. So you better man up. You got fucking. Up. Like, Bruce this Jenner, this Bruce Jenner was good. the manliest of all men. <laughs> He was an Olympic and now, gold medalist. Now no. he is Caitlyn. No, but I'm saying if, if you like the fat girl, boo, you listening right now, you like the girl, she's a little chunky, she's sexy. But what she about, got the good pussy. Tell your man. Like, she, she has the good pussy and she got her own money. Your bitch, but she got the good pussy. Guys got always good say money. girls that are fat have better pussy. I've always That's had That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Tell them. Tell In that boys, case, I have you know dick what? envy. She got I the have good no pussy. Idea. <laughs> I don't know what the inside is. Like. No, but no. what about trying to make her lose weight? Is that wrong? No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. No. Go to the gym. Is that wrong? Get no. Out. What, what, is, yeah, what is that? Wrong. What is that? You what said that's that wrong. That everyone's yeah, that's wrong. doing. I mean, if she wants to try to be healthy and lose Listen, weight, then he should motivate her to do so. It, exactly. If she right. brings it up, then that's fine. But he went into it knowing that, yo, I'm about to fuck this big girl. <laughs> And he like fucking the no, big girl. No, but he likes it. He, and the big girl, not it. a big girl is sweet. Not a big girl got her own money. Not a big girl, no, cater to you. But see, I'm not offended by stuff like that. If a guy were to tell me, boo, you, you know. Let me tell you what's going to happen. That big girl lose weight, then she ain't going to see him. <laughs> right. That's what he like about her. Hey, exactly. Man. She going to be like, true. I'm out. This other dude's hollering at Please me. Please let a nigga tell me, oh, I like you, girl, but you got to lose some weight. You're a little chunky monkey. Uh, I'll be like, really? But what if you were like, <laughs> really? But would you not like his honesty? Like, damn, he right. I do need to lose. No, I respect the honesty, but I'm gonna go fuck my 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 ex. Yeah, you're gonna go do whatever it is that you who makes me do. feel good about. But wouldn't you body. rather somebody not just think that and say it to you? Because nah, you- if you say it, then cool. You a woman has to take it how how they're gonna take it. I wouldn't take it well. I wouldn't take that well. <laughs> I wouldn't take it well either. I, I don't even I like when somebody like, looks at me weird for exactly. two. But you don't want a guy to be honest. But if like. Like, what if your pussy stink a little? Like, boo, your shit stink what a little. What pussy stink? Mm-hmm. What are you oh, dealing oh, with over there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. first of all, your pussy should not be stinking. <laughs> and if your man tells you that your pussy don't take offense to that, go take a shower. But, I mean, there might be certain things like, look. Go we get had, a douche. We squash had, squash. You might have to sit in a tub for We had a young drum on. He said mm-hmm. he was dating a girl whose hair stunk. Hair, Ooh, like her hair, hair because of what yeah. she ate. Oh, yeah. No, not her weave because of the food that she ate. Yeah, it like came her, out of what her. What did you want somebody wrong, to tell smell. you? Like, what if you had a bad breath? You wouldn't want somebody to tell you. Like, you're taking it from one level to the other. You got to stay consistent. Now, what are we talking no, about? Saying, Listen, if, if I have bad breath, pussy stink and hair stink is two Just totally different levels. Yeah, it, it that is, is true. It is no, if I have true. bad breath, it's something you need to look into. Mm-hmm. No, but if I have bad breath, y'all not breath, being right. Y'all not being right right now. <laughs> no, no, no. If I have bad breath, if someone thinks if the guy I'm dating 
dating thinks I have bad breath, I need to move on to the next guy who's gonna think my bad breath smells like flowers. But what if you have so, a root canal? And that's it. That you need. To well, get to you know, I needed to get that hole fixed in my mouth. You couldn't Angela deal with it. Is I need to from find somebody that could deal with she it. She said some very specific <laughs> shit now, right hold now. Hold on, my if, if, dentist. So I'm, my breath is always gonna be fine. My yeah, vagina is man, Me too. I'm, I need to go see him. <laughs> yeah, you should go see I, him. My feeling came out. All right, oh, well, girl. good. I got you. But all I'm saying is, why don't we want honesty? Like, why don't we want somebody to be honest with us? No, I mean, Angela, you know what? Honestly, is, when someone's someone honest, honest like that, it's honestly time I'm always to move be on. I'm very honest too. But the <laughs> thing is, you you can't. I can't be overweight <laughs> and you date me when I'm overweight and be like. You should try to lose weight. You no. never fucking tell me that. I would. Oh. I, I'm gonna be honest. I would want somebody to be like, Ange, you done gain some weight. Like if you no gaining and no, being when who someone you loves are. you, they don't even notice that you gained weight. Yes, they do. Yes, they yes, do. Yes, they do. Unless yes, yes, you do. gain a tremendous yeah, amount of weight. No, yes, they do. I gained ten pounds, and this nigga told me. My no. stomach wasn't flat no more. When I sat down, it was flat when I sit up. When I sat down, it had little rolls in it. And he was like, "What is it? What is that?" What? Oh, and it hurts. <laughs> but you gained, you gained. How much weight was no. that? Ten pounds. Ten but pounds is ten about- pounds. Is ten pounds. Is ten pounds. Is ten pounds. <laughs> I'm talking about. I'm talking about going out with what you came in with. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? If he, right. if this guy who emailed you and said, "I'm dating this big girl," and she was the same big when you started, like you can't. You can't say anything about but it. But you, right? you never dated somebody that was like, man, he would be perfect if... if. Yeah. No. Aww. Everybody that that's I dated, so but that's just my personality. That's Everybody that I dated, I was so very sad. out and be like, yup, fucking this one. Yup, fucking this one. And now <laughs> I'm with this guy and I'm like, yup, fucking this one. And he happens to be a fucking guy. <laughs> and it's fun. Uh, and you know, I love you're it. You're loving it. Yes, you're loving and it. And I love it. That's it's how you do so it. I do feel like yeah. there's some things like, no. that you can change and some things you can't change. And sometimes certain things people tell you really it might be for the best. But like I'm a team person, so if I said to, it, like if we were dating right now, mm-hmm. like babe, you put on like five pounds, but let's go to the gym together. I would get the membership for us before I did it, right? And I'd be like, let's just do it together. And some people might yeah, be and then like by that. and then like while you're at the gym cracking jokes and you're like, yeah, babe, you do it good, you know, try to get off them five pounds you Yeah, gained. exactly. <laughs> And then I'd be excited because, yeah, babe about to be skinny. I'm about to. But you best believe it. If homeboy tell his girl to fucking lose weight, she going to be on to the next one. Yo, I lost 20. This nigga is on me now. I I'm think out. it also depends on how you say it, though, how you approach somebody. I what world, what world do you truth. live in, Ange? What world do you live in where a guy can say it as nice as possible? You need to lose about 20 pounds. Listen, no, I, and you'd be okay I'm with not, it. I'm not the it's type over. of person that gets offended. Is Thank it, you, I, Stephanie, for being it's honest. Over. Yes. You, can, you tell me I'm fat. Uh, so you. You don't like the way I look when I'm on And you thing. know you fat, though. You know you fat, but you matter. said it. Now exactly. it's a problem. <laughs> now it's exactly. a fucking problem. What? Like, if I came from the gym and I, I'm a little sweaty and I smell bad and the nigga's like, ew, baby, go get in the shower. You stink. You're like, okay. I'm like, I okay, stink. go get your stuff together and get the fuck up out my house. Yeah, because then you think about something that's wrong with you. you from like, coming to the gym. I stink. Like, oh, you know I was about to get in the shower. I wasn't going to stay like this forever. <laughs> I just needed to drink my protein so that way my muscles don't hurt afterwards. Exactly. Like, that's it. I was going to get in the shower. You didn't need to tell me I needed Clearly to Clearly, we in think the, the same because it's never your fault. It's, <laughs> it's never your fault. Right, it's never it. my fault. Come here's on. the next question. And this is a good one, okay? <laughs> I just got out of it's <laughs> never my fault. I just got out of an eight year relationship. I'm twenty two. How can I get over her? Eight years. Eight, eight years. years. How do you get over her somebody? What's that? Twenty one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, eight years, seventeen, 16, 14? sixteen, fourteen. Fourteen. They were now, they were high school sweethearts. Now Gigi, you had a fake up. Let's it's time to grow up. up. How do you get over I that? I didn't have a fake No, that's, up. that's 12. We're still broken no, up. 14, We're just right? friends <laughs> now. You still just- <laughs> so what are the best things that you can do to get over somebody that you've been with for a long but time? But you can't count that as a real relationship. I didn't. I never got over him, so I don't know. What are some things that you do to try to like get on with your daily life? Just, I know not, sometimes- just, just to not... Just to try to keep living and try to keep pushing on and try to open up your life to new experiences and new people and just not saying have go get a rebound, but just live your life and try or, to just like not yeah, my associate thing, everything with or that person. specifically go get a rebound. I think, <laughs> no, I think that when you're, you know, when you're um, trying to get you. over something, stay busy. Mm-hmm. If, if you're busy all yeah, the time, I mean. you don't have time to think about it. To think anything. like try try to involve yeah. yourself in things that does not involve Because that I was I was with my son's father for almost eight years and he caught me cheating on him and was like, Okay, poof, goodbye. Mm-hmm. My whole life changed. But and- why did you cheat? 
He cheated first. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's and why she he was cheated. curious. Are you being spiteful? No, he cheated or? first. I, I'm, I'm a very spiteful person. Puerto Ricans. Yeah. <laughs> and I yeah. like I went hard to cheat on him. And whatever, it was over. We I should have broke up with him years ago. Right. Did you well, cheat with somebody better? Because you know sometimes when yeah, you cheat, I up, did. That's, oh, that's, you cheated that's that's really bad when you cheat really up. Get hurt when mm-hmm. you cheat no, up. I would I would not ever cheat that's on. That's when you get a song down. written about you. I wouldn't ever. <laughs> che- no, I'm telling. And my son's father is a rapper. I told him when we broke up, don't you dare write a song about me. I'm gonna get me a signed. <laughs> I would have wrote a song about you. Let's do a show. Better not because all his ex girls before me, he wrote songs about them. Terrible songs. Mm. Terrible songs. And I told him we broke up. Did he write a song about you? Better not write no corny ass song did about he? me. Not that I've heard. I haven't heard it. So did you date like a rapper that? No, was No, he popping? wasn't popular. But did you date somebody after him that was like, you know? Gay? No, I'm telling you, I did. I cheated up for sure. He knows that. You like, cheated he up. Respects that. You cheated up. Yeah, you he got respects to. that. Mm-hmm. But oh, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I cheated on him. Poof, my relationship was over. My whole life changed. My family, everything was over. Because you have a kid together. Right. We have a child together. Mm-hmm. And what I did, I started traveling. I started booking everything that came my way. Mm-hmm. I just stood really, really busy and I got over it. He had a new girlfriend two months later. Mm. That, that means he was wasn't messing so with her new. while he was with you. you know, mm. It wasn't, wasn't so new. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. I said, you don't get no girlfriend know, people, two like months later. Like I said, people kill me because I cheated on my son's father. But men will be men will be men. He Hello. had his back up, ready to go. I, I, amen. <laughs> and I'm not even mad at him. I never even cared. I never, I never stalked him on the internet. I never cared about what he was doing because it was over. We were not yeah. together anymore. We were not living together. I stood busy. I traveled. I traveled the world. I went to Japan. I went to Africa. You I went all Dubai, over the world. <laughs> no, I have not been to Dubai for the record. <laughs> Yo, Dubai I don't is sell like, pussy. Dubai is like Magic City right now. Right? <laughs> magic City. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't Shout even out post to the, the trap. I Shout even, out to the trap. Yeah. I don't even want to go to Dubai. Yo, I don't even want to no, post if I'm in that bitch. Stuff. I'm friend. not posting shit. I don't want nobody thinking I Yo, got shit at all. Exactly. <laughs> like I ain't telling nobody I was in Dubai. Especially no, if I, I go now. Go to Dubai with my friends. Motherfuckers was on Dubai. Yeah. Years ago, like, right. come on, man! Yeah. I can't and now that's anybody. where they sell pussy. If if Angela was like, "Hey, Seth, what's up? I'm going on this trip to Dubai. Want to come?" Yeah, I'd be like, "No, bitch." I feel like I can talk to you. You would, you would be the one taking the photos. You wouldn't be in the photos. I'll be exactly. I'll be the sponsor. Well, you know what? Since we talked about that, let's think about um a strange sex story. What's the strangest thing that you've ever had to do in bed that you was like, "I can't believe I'm doing this when it was happening," and maybe you did like it. Mm. Suck dick and played with nipples. Oh, that's, this, str- that's not that strange. That's what you call no, this. Not is strange. What, that's not that's strange, not strange at, at all. That's very that's normal. Um, go ahead, Gigi. No, I don't want to say. I'm thinking. Hours. I don't. I don't gotta think about it. I'm. Th- yeah, I'm thinking too because I've did a lot of things. <laughs> so <laughs> that I don't could be know. Strange. strange. <laughs> yeah, I like. Th- I mean, I like strange things. I'm different. But what's the thing that you was like while you were doing it? I can't believe I'm doing this. Licking booty hole, but I still do it. Like groceries, okay, girl. I make no. Do it. I mean, it, the first time, the first time Listen, I was sucking, I guy, like it. It, yeah, it turns me. me I'm a pleaser. No, but, like I was saying, the first time I sucked a guy and, and he he wanted fingers in his ass, it was a little weird. But for only a few seconds after that, it was it. like this is like this is my bitch. Can you lick your fingers after that? No. <laughs> But me personally, no, yeah, girl. no, you don't lick your fingers after. But me personally, I just no I'm a pleaser, like, so I like to do things that I know is turning that person on. Like I'm turned on by the fact that I'm turning. It's a power thing. Like yeah, I got no, you, right? bitch. That's what I'm like saying. I got you know what I'm saying. So yeah, like, like anything that I, that's why I like strange. sucking dick so much because guys love it. So yeah. but that, it turns I mean, me that's on. Strange. That's so regular. No, I'm not saying that that's something strange. I'm just saying the fact that I'm a pleaser. So the fact that anything that I'm doing that they're getting enjoyment out of that shit is like a fucking ego boost to me and it just makes me Amen. like waterfalls like yes I'm winning what's the nice strangest thing you ever done in a bed um let me see I don't know if I ever do anything really that strange me either hmm I gotta think about that too because I yeah like nobody question. answered <laughs> y'all don't nothing strange nothing's really strange to me no, I mean, that, people, I've if never you stuck my fingers really, in nobody's asshole. And that. people think that's no, strange. No, what have you done, though? No, I'm trying to think what Angie have I done. Angie ain't done much, so we're not going to get much out of her. No, she's no like, but the thing is, I do. We can keep squeezing this lemon all we want. We ain't going to get no lemonade. Oh, my God, I have something strange. I'm good at the things that I do. Oh, my God, I have something strange. I have something strange. The strangest thing I've ever done during sex was a guy fucking me in my vagina. 
vaginal sex, but he was facing like his back was facing me. So okay. he's in my pussy, oh. but I'm seeing it. So back. you're looking at his ass. What's so yes. dick Ooh, like Exactly. Is it that strange? That, that is, is a little weird because it feels that's like you're strange. fucking well, him. I might have something that's strange. I, I, that feels like, like you're fucking him. I need a yeah. sketch. I need but a he's sketch. Like, I tried to me. I tried to. What? I need a sketch of that. Like, imagine no. she's behind him, so it looks like and he's, he's fucking going him. This, and his yeah, dick that's, is that is inside strange. of me. I'm he had a long dick to do all that. long as fuck. Right, he had a long dick to do all that. long as fuck. No, I think yeah. I have something strange. Right. Right. I was young. I was like 17. I was in an oh, open was relationship. Was that the guy? Yeah, no, he was fine. Okay. Oh, wait, let me... Gigi, my ex fiance. I was in an open relationship, and... Um, so meaning I was having sex with other people and he was having sex with other people and we were totally aware that we were having sex with other people. He wanted to know like details and and names and and how much I enjoyed. It turned so, him on. Mm-hmm. So I I let him listen. Like I had my phone on and I had him on the phone and I set my phone down and then I had sex with this guy and I let him listen to me having sex Did the guy you were having sex with know you were letting someone else listen? No. Ooh, that's sneaky. Okay, that's a little strange. I, I don't he did, he did after the fact. But and I didn't mean for him to know that he that I was had somebody else listening. That is sexy. Girl. So what did he think about it? It turned him on. Who, the guy that the I was, guy that was listening? With? Oh yeah, I don't, he probably was beating his dick. I don't know what he was doing, but he loved it. But he would always ask strange. detail. Like, if I told him I had some sex with somebody else, he would want to know, like, who it like, was. Like, I can think of things what? I did, but they're not that strange. Like, watch porn while having sex. That's, that's not strange. Not strange. No, that's really that's good. That's normal. Yeah, that's normal. But some people I love might, that. Yeah. I love that. I, I, don't, I don't think I have anything to com- compete with you guys. Just, <laughs> no, I'm telling it's not you. It's a competition, that, Paul. Well, isn't no, that I strange? The, I like, think he the weirdest was thing that I had was, like, a married couple, like, you know. You had oh, that's strange, couple? bro. No, no, no. Uh, the wife. Okay, and, and, the, and watched, the husband watched? And the husband was, like, around. That's teamwork. I that's tried, crazy. That, I was trying to make their marriage better. Mm-hmm. That's You're what I like said. That's counselor. teamwork. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to make their marriage better. So it was just like... Pull the marriage counselor. Yeah. <laughs> did, was it weird for you, or did, you let, did it turn you on? It was weird for me for a little bit because, you know, the guy was there. You know, I had been with women, so I, was, I wasn't really into it. And, you know, the woman, she just kind of, we just kind of like paid attention to each other. And I kind of forgot that he was around. Forgot the cameras is rolling. Okay. I hope it was no cameras rolling. Well, mm-hmm. you know. Let me not win an watching. Academy Award <laughs> and then the fucking cameras come You know out. what scares me about girl on girl sex is that I'm scared that it's never over. Like, when is it over? It's never over with a girl. Let me tell you something, <laughs> Stephanie. Let me tell you something right now. If you fuck a girl, a true lesbian, uh-huh. it is never over for That's at least a year. It is see? never over a year. for at least a year. You see? That That's, this is why like, I can't be gay. Because I can't commit because myself I, to being can, with a girl I'm just for saying, a year. Just because we have no, you can tell her that it's just a one-time thing, but it's a very few, it's a very few percentage of lesbians inc- it's, it's not. It's never over. That's See, what scares women are too clingy, yeah, which is why I can never be gay. Right. Yeah, because you're clingy. Well, I'll tell you what's over you're right now. Like, well, the service, service is over. It's We're over. talking way too okay. much. I hope I still have a relationship after this. <laughs> yeah, you definitely do. You might fuck later tonight after this. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, thank you, Poe. Poe Joe loves you. She loves yeah, us. I love you guys. Yes. Thank you guys Poe for having me. Re- I'm a Thanks bit flattered coming. that you guys invited me to come because y'all are so crazy. No, I knew we, <laughs> no, I, we I, love I knew you. Poe we know you're fun. <laughs> no, that was yeah. fun. And, uh, you know, good luck in your relationship. Let's we'll see if you'll be back. I'll see if you'll be back. back to the other no, side. No, stay no, with the boys. Good. Boys no. are amazing. So I do have one question, though. Uh-huh. Would you have a... Oh, you're, you're saying you don't like threesome, so never mind. No, him and him and me is, is just him and me. The, There's nobody me else Me for invited. you and you for me. That's so yeah. sweet I don't do that. I don't do no, that. And it's, no, and it's nice to look each other in the eyes and know nobody else is and there. He's a nobody good eye connector. Yeah. <laughs> he's very My much turn. like this when we're fucking. <laughs> so, All right, well, thank you so much, Poe. We love you. Thank you guys for having me. Yes, we love you. I love you guys. Lip service, Stephanie Santiago. Gigi McGee. And Gigi McGuire. Oh, wait, my turn. Poe Johnson. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.